If the main reason you cruise is to be close to the ocean and you love stunning sea views when you relax, dine, exercise and socialise, then keep watching today's episode of Planet Cruise Weekly as we explore the all new MSC Sea View. Hello and welcome to Planet Cruise Weekly with Dan and myself. Thank you for clicking the link and watching. And today we're looking at MSC's latest cruise ship to launch the MSC Sea View. Very, very exciting. So before we go any further, a little bit of background. MSC are a family owned Italian cruise line. In fact, one of the, pretty much the last remaining proper family owned cruise line. A uh, distinct Mediterranean flair they have and, and, and they're currently on a quest to double their passenger capacity by 2026, which is especially impressive when you think that they've already built and launched 14 new ships since 2000, which is more than any other cruise line. In fact, the MSC Seaside is part of the 9 billion euro expansion that includes 11 new ships by 2026. Now she's set to launch in June 2018 and is the cruise line's second ship of the new Seaside class, the first of which the MSC Seaside launched at the end of 2017 to much acclaim. So let's start with the basics. She was built in Italy at the famous Fincantieri shipyard near Venice where many ships for MSC, Holland America, Carnival, Princess, Cunard and Disney have been built, including the new Viking Ocean ships. Along with her sister ship, she's the largest ship ever to be built at the shipyard at 160,000 tonnes and is the second of three new ships from that form of seaside class. Now work began on her back on the 16th of October 2015 and she was floated out successfully, we might add, in August of 2017 with her maiden cruise having been on the 4th of June from Civitavecchia. Now during the summer months she'll sail the Western Med home porting in Genoa, Marseille and Barcelona and calling in at Naples, Messina in Sicily and Malta. And then for the winter she'll reposition over to South America sailing out of Brazil. So let's have a look at some vital statistics. At 323 metres in length, she is 13 metres longer than the Shard and over three times longer than Big Ben. Now carrying over 5,000 guests, she boasts an incredible 463,000 square foot of public space, including panoramic elevators with sea views, suspended glass floors, a giant aqua park, and an outdoor promenade with shops, bars, and alfresco dining. Now to put all that into perspective, that's over eight full-size football pitches of public space. In fact, along with her sister, Sea View will have the largest ratio of outdoor space of any cruise ship at sea. Costing an estimated 700 million euros to build, the Sea View has been specifically designed around the outside and is based on a Miami Beach condo style aesthetic. With many of the ship's restaurants and bars outside facing, this is achieved by a 360 degree promenade with glass balustrades that runs around the entire ship. Allowing passengers to eat and drink al fresco from a variety of bars and restaurants or shop in the boutiques. This also includes outdoor fitness facilities and even spa treatments out in the fresh air. MSC's latest cruise ship will also be one of MSC's new smart ships and specifically designed for efficiency with special scrubber technology to neutralise carbon dioxide emissions and in a fantastic step in the right direction they will be water emission free meaning they won't pollute the world's oceans in any way. Big thumbs up from here at Planet Cruise. The other great advantage with this new smart tech which is being rolled out fleet wide is how it will massively increase comfort and convenience for passengers. Mm. MSC have partnered with Samsung to introduce a fab new piece of shipwide technology called NFC which basically includes a dedicated app accessible on phones, in cabin TVs and along with sensor packed wristbands that will, among other things, allow guests unrivaled access to make payments, book spa treatments speciality restaurants, access their cabin and safe, and even geolocate their children through their devices. In other words, even controlling your TV could be done via your mobile phone. The incredible technology is known as MSC Fort Me, and you can download the app for free before you get on board. Now guests are also able to book excursions, uh, shows and restaurants via 300 interactive screens, which are located in different public areas around the ship and through something called iBeacon technology can receive offers and information straight to their mobile devices which is customised to each passenger's specific preferences so they'll never miss their favourite experiences. So 
So let's start by looking at some of the unique spaces that MSC are introducing as they're blending indoor and outdoor areas to connect you with the sea like never before. So as we've mentioned, on deck eight, there will be a 360 degree wraparound waterfront promenade that offers you the chance to circumnavigate past numerous restaurants and bars and shops and via a port and starboard side glass bottomed infinity walkway. Yep, glass bottomed infinity walkway, pretty cool. Now it's basically a combination of the best parts of Princess's Royal Class Seawalk and NCL's Breakaway Class Waterfront. But it also adds in a fab innovation with the South Beach Pool, which is situated at the aft of the promenade, giving some incredible views out across the ship's wake. It's a clever use of space by MSC and increases the amount of swimming pools and sunbathing space on board. The South Beach Pool is also overlooked by two huge glass panoramic lifts which connect it to the top deck. Now most cruise ship atriums are strictly internal affairs, but this is something that sea view will change with a double deck glass walled atrium featuring floor to ceiling windows stretching over four floors and an incredible two glass floored catwalks that offer guests incredible ocean views. So let's move on to one of our favorite subjects, food, mm. glorious food. And MSC are the only family owned cruise line left in the industry, we mentioned that before. And although they're based in Geneva, the Apontes, the family in question, and therefore MSC are very much Italian. Therefore you can expect a big focus on food and a greater offering of alfresco seating. Now there's 10 eateries to choose from, including five speciality restaurants, and that includes a dedicated kids only buffet. The two main restaurants will offer seven course Mediterranean dining that still operates around set sittings in the evening with set vegan and vegetarian menus to boot. The obligatory top deck buffet will also include a traditional Neapolitan pizzeria and as previously mentioned, a dedicated children's restaurant. Following the success of the Seaside, MSC has once again invited award winner celebrity chef Roy Yamaguchi to open a three-in-one eatery on board. Inspired by his unique Hawaiian fusion cuisine, the Pan-Asian market will be situated on the top deck and feature a sushi counter, teppanyaki space, and an a la carte Pan-Asian area. There's also a new luxury seafood restaurant called Ocean Key, which will feature a chef's table experience similar to the ones originated by Princess Cruises and a high-end steakhouse called The Butcher's Cut. And new for the sea view, a French bistro called Atelier, which will serve escargot, foie gras, and charcuterie. All the restaurants on board feature wine paired menus, and there's an impressive 19 different bars on board, including an awe-inspiring pillar bar in the glass-wrapped main atrium, and what comprises to be a lovely new offering in the new comedy club. Plus, MSC's famous Venchi Chocolate Factory ice cream and coffee bar makes a return where you can watch a master chocolatier creating mouth-watering delights in an open kitchen before giving them a try. Mm. So on to entertainment now. And in keeping with this outdoor theme, an alfresco spa and fitness facilities will be available, including spaces for open air spa treatments. Dan has already booked himself in for an outdoor pedicure. <laughs> and as part of another fleet-wide edition, Seaview will feature an extra fee wellness experience in partnership with Techno Gym, which includes one free personal training consultation, healthy food items, fitness classes, free laundry, a checkup with the ship's doctor, and in-state room equipment like yoga mats and resistance bands. The ship is also home to the longest zip line at sea at over 130 meters, plus two full-size bowling alleys, along with a DJ booth fashioned from half a Cadillac. There's also one of the biggest aqua parks at sea with no fewer than five water slides. This includes an interactive slide boarding tube, which is a first in the industry and combines video, games, lights, music, and a 367 foot water slide. There's two high speed racing slides with clear loops that extend over one side of the ship, an aqua tube, an inner tube, and a family flume type slide. Children will adore the aqua play and aqua spray park and the bigger kids, there's the Adventure Trail, which is an interactive high-flying ropes course that will have cruisers ducking spray cannons as they balance their way across. So as we've mentioned, the water parks and therefore the little people, uh, they are going to be very much looked after by MSC because there's dedicated facilities and clubs for one to 17 year olds through partnerships with Chico and Lego. This impressive age range is a real nod to the emphasis that MSC places on family cruising. 
So on to cabins now. On board Seaview, there's 10 different grades of accommodation, all of it with an interactive TV, a mini bar, uh, of course, air conditioning, uh, plus single or double beds on request. Cluster cabins are available for families in groups uh, of up to 10 people, whilst the luxury suites feature private outside jacuzzis and hanging gardens, just like in Babylon. As with all the MSC fleet, there will be a ship within a ship area called the Yacht Club, which will feature lavishly fitted suites with ergonomic mattresses, fine sheets, a pillow menu, marble bathroom, LCD TVs, and ample minibar. There's also a private MSC Yacht Club restaurant and entry to other exclusive areas, the One Sun Deck and the Top Sail Lounge. Seaview will also boast 14 aft corner suites, which straddle the aft lifts. These terraced balcony cabins, which feature sea views, will overlook the promenade and South Beach area below, with the outsides featuring window chaise lounges, essentially turning the window into a seating area with a real view. Now, before we go, we also wanted to bring to your attention the brand new MSC Bellissima arriving in 2019. She will be christened in the UK in the spring of that year with her naming ceremony taking place in Southampton on the 2nd of March and then embarking on her maiden voyage to Barcelona on the 4th of March 2019. The Bellissima will also be kitted out with the latest technologies and experiences as her sister ship, the MSC Meraviglia. So keep your eyes peeled for more information about MSC's next incredible vessel. And if you do want to see our review of the Meraviglia, then uh, have a look at the link, which is uh, just up there somewhere. Well, we really hope that's got you rightfully excited for the launch of not only MSC Seaview in 2018, but for 2019, uh, and that wonderful Bellissima excitement. Now, if you need any more info or would like to comment or share your experiences with us, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our teams, such as Dan, who is a cruise and destination expert. Um, and of course, we have covered MSC Cruises as a brand in more detail. So uh, click the link in the description to learn more. Plus, don't forget to click the subscribe button to get a notification when we release our latest videos and therefore stay up to date with all the latest material, the deals and the cruise news. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and see you next week for another informative episode of Planet Cruise Weekly. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.